All right, what's going on, guys? Super Saiyan Zero here. We're back on State of Decay 2. This is going to be part three of our Nightmare Zone 100-day walkthrough, playthrough, whatever you want to call it. Um, part two went a lot better than part one, for sure. Um, get that mouse off the screen. Um, definitely went a lot better than uh, part one. We were able to get a second vehicle. We got the infirmary up to level two. And our two community members aren't completely dying anymore. Um, but, however, neither one of them are have their hero bonuses. Right now, um, pretty much none of their skills are maxed except her for her on scouting. And I need to completely max that out as well to really get the added benefit of it. Of being able to see enemies basically on the minimap anywhere. And being able to see... Um, every highlighted box inside of the house, like even through walls and things like that, which will make searching a lot quicker and a lot easier and stuff like that. Oh, I had a, a bounty on there too that I never turned in on my standard community. I don't even know where the bounty broker is here. I think he's dead. Oh yeah, there he is. He's not that far away. Um, that's probably not going to happen here. I'm still probably going to do that in the standard zone, but we are friendly with this, uh, are we about to get, oh, we're about to get attacked by the zombies. Great. Um, but we are friendly with this community right here, so when when uh, they have another... Where are these people? Oh, they're up here. So, yeah, they're way up there. I'm not going to them right now. But uh, whenever these people get another mission, I want to try to complete it for them because when I get them allied, I can then recruit one of those people to my community. Not sure which one of them I want. I kind of just need people right now. So, okay, so we got a zombie siege, but I kind of just want to recruit people because I need more people in this base. Because I just need more bodies that can go out and search stuff. Um, and hopefully, like, I mean, even if their skills, if their traits aren't that great, it's not the end of the world as long as they're not really bad. Because I just need, I need people. And I can deal with some negative traits for right now because... Again, I need people. This is a 100-day challenge, so we're going to be playing this for a while. So I'm not really concerned about having the best community possible right this second. I just need people to go out and loot stuff. In fact, I would actually welcome people that don't have great traits, because those, they're basically going to be my meat bags. To go out and sacrifice themselves, get loot for me and my future community. Okay, cool. So we got one more zombie in there remaining. That wasn't too bad. This is really, like, honestly, zombie sieges aren't too terrible because they're not that bad. At least not here in the starter home, so it's actually a good way to level up my fighting skills. Because uh, when Providence Ridge comes out, I'm not going to... Bro. When Providence Ridge comes out, I'm not going to be at the point where I was hoping I would end up being with the community... So, not going to have anybody as a, <clears throat> well, I'll probably have somebody as a leader, but I'm not going to have enough influence to move into any of the bigger bases. I'm not going to have a large enough community to move into a bigger base. So, uh, but I still want to move into Providence Ridge once the Juggernaut Edition drops. Like today, right now, is March 11th, and it comes out on the 13th, so it comes out in two days. So I do still want to move my community to Providence Ridge. Um, and we'll probably just go from the starting base there and work our way up. But I do want to at least have one other community member in here and have just a base three people. It'd be nice if I could befriend another community. But I kind of need another one that lives around here. I don't want to drive all the way up here, you know, or all the way down here somewhere. You know, like, I need communities that are close. So, but for right now, in this video, we're going to go down here. We need to, uh, our immediate goal right now is we want to try to get weapons. I did find a pistol that Beth currently has on her person, but I want to try to get, um, more guns. Specifically, like, uh, weapons that will help me deal with ferals. Because, thankfully, since the first feral that tore us up and killed our, killed one of our starting survivors in episode one... Uh, fortunately, we haven't had any other really bad run-ins with ferals yet. We've seen a couple of them, but we haven't encountered them. Uh, 
which again has been a good thing, but we definitely need better weaponry to deal with them. I think I can get up and run a little bit. Doesn't look like we have any trouble around us. Where are all the zombies? I was just able to kind of run over here and not attract anybody. That's really weird. I'm probably just forgetting that the game isn't trying to make things too difficult on me at the start. Ooh. So the zombie spawn rate is probably down a lot lower. Whereas in my standard zone, I can't even walk out of my house without seeing a just a huge number of zombies standing in front of my house and stuff like that. I don't know why I'm sneaking. There's nobody in here. I don't need to sneak. No more Zed. Yay. Interesting. So I did actually turn the gamma up a little bit on my standard zone. I should probably turn that back down. This is it. A revolver. Ouch. Ouch. I definitely didn't want a revolver. Revolvers are stupid loud. I mean, shotguns are too. But shotguns at least have a spread and they're easier to deal with ferals. Yeah, just the gamma. Let's just go back to the default gamma setting. Just because it makes it harder to see at night, so it just makes it a little bit more difficult. And really, when I've been editing the other two videos, I haven't really noticed that. You know, it's too dark. It's not like darker for you guys than it, than it is for me. It's really about the same level of darkness. Let's clear so. out some of these Zed infestations. Not not looking not looking too great for us right now. Um, I am still going to equip this pistol because in an emergency situation I'm going to use it. But I really want to avoid using revolvers. I don't like using them in this game because you can't put any silencers on them and they are very loud. So even in standard zone, you can get swarmed really quickly. <laughs> But at least both of my survivors have guns now that they can defend themselves in an emergency situation. Yeah, not great. Not great, but we at least got some ammo, and yeah, an another gun is at least good, I suppose. And we'll check these other houses around us here. And then, uh, unfortunately, that's kind of it for nighttime. We kind of aren't going to have a lot of other places. we got this little shed down here, but there's one container to search. So, um, oh, look, and there we go. There, they need fuel, and we actually have fuel, so there we go. That's perfect, so we're actually going to do that, too. Perfect. Nice, so we're going to get another survivor. Ooh, that's a... Yes, that is a screamer. We're going to definitely be careful with that. Uh, I don't think he can see me from here. Let's hope not. I don't think he can. So let's sneak around him. Let's kill him because we're going to get the bonus influence. We're also going to get the little increase in standing that that gives us for doing so. Boom. That guy over there is not really going to see us, so I'm going to take off. Ah, oh, this person saw us, though. Oh, okay. That was weird. Oh, okay. That's, I'm just going to... Okay, well, that was really dumb. I was trying to get behind her. I think you guys have seen me do it a couple times. Because um, I can go like this, get behind her, and do that. That's what I was originally trying to do, and it wasn't working out. Um, I'm not going to use that bandage because I don't... I think when I go and she's at home just passively healing, I think that that injury... Like, I think she'll be at full health when I take control of her. If not, then once she completely heals from her injuries, I'll use it anyway when I take control of her next time. That way, um, the bandages should get me to full health. Okay, yeah, not ideal. I didn't want her to get an injury. I was trying to avoid that. But the game was not, uh, cooperating with me. Alright, but there's some ammo there. Drop these off. So, now, again, I am still trying to be careful, but Regina, I don't care as much about... Oops. Um, because she's not a very good survivor at all. Oh, we're depressed again. I thought, I thought we... I thought last, uh, part we were stable at least, but no, I don't think so. Okay. So now we got that. We're gonna make it down here to these guys. Um. 
Uh, when I first went over there, I actually regretted not taking a vehicle, so I think I'm actually going to take a vehicle with me this time. Let's see. I think they both, they both have enough gas to get me there. I'll take the utility truck, though, because the other truck has more gas in it. If I need to go farther, I'd rather be able to use that if I need it. So we took the four gas, so we still have six gas in there, and it only takes about two gas, um, two gas resources to make, <clears throat> uh, uh, I'm sorry, two fuel resources to make a gas can. Alright, oh, that's a screamer, let's, let's definitely take care of that, and while we're here too, we'll be able to search this shed. Alright, and all those zombies are going to be attracted to that. Okay. Alright, cool. Yep, yeah, there we go. One rucksack of fuel. And they're just, they're bucking out there. Okay. Alright, so. Let's look and see which one of these people we want. So this is, ooh, she's a mechanic. That might actually be very good. Very nice, because I know when that when that upgrades I can I can get the auto shop which will be probably very useful especially I know Providence Ridge a lot of the map a lot of the um the bases there have a lot of room for ooh he's a gardener though ooh Shane might be the move and he actually looks like you know I mean not in the face but in terms of hairstyle Shane from The Walking Dead, and I mean, he's, I mean, Shane was more of a, a cop, but, I don't know, kind of the same, not really. Oh, but Gary is also a guard, he's also good at gardening, but he has sharpshooting. Uh, sharpshooting's not bad, I'd prefer gunslinging because of the snapping. See, he's got three traits. One of these two dudes is probably going to be the move. He's got three traits. He's got, what, two? I feel like, though, I mean, I don't really care for sharpshooting, so I kind of feel like... Wow, he's got an awesome last name. Shanathan Wolfkill. I'll just call him Shane Wolfkill. What a, what a fucking name, dude. I think I'm going to go with him literally just because his name is cool. But, I mean, they're both gardeners, so that's fine. Um, even though the other guy has a third trait. That third trait could be bad, too, though, so I don't know. Alright, I think we're gonna... I think we're gonna take Shane. Nice. Cool. So we have three survivors now. Which is nice. Our morale is stable now. That's good. We have a fresh face. Nice. Okay, so he doesn't have any negative traits, which is good. He's a gardener, so that could mean he could end up being one of our more long-term sir. Oh, wait a second. Didn't... Oh, you my stupid. God. I'm dumb. Oh, I'm so dumb. I forgot that Beth was a gardener. I'm so used to my other my other things, too. Oh, my God. I just brought in two gardeners for no reason. I don't need two gardeners. I could have brought in the other person. She was a mechanic. Oh, my God. I needed that. <sighs> Dude, I'm so stupid. I forgot that Beth was a gardener. Oh, my lord, man. Alright, I mean, not the end of the world. Not the end of the world. There's textbooks that are around everywhere. I can... God, man, that's so frustrating. I'm so stupid. That's what happens when I play my other communities, and then I, I just don't... I just don't remember... Uh, that's what happens when I'm playing my other communities, and everybody has different types of skills and traits, as I forget what certain people have. So, sorry about that. That was a big dumb dumb by me, but, again, ultimately, our goal was, our goal is that we need, we just needed more people. Um, and again, we're going to be surviving for 100 days, so we'll eventually find a mechanic. I'm not super worried about it. Not the end of the world. Just something that's a little, uh, a little inconvenience. A little dumb on my part, but not the end of the world. Well, I guess that's all there is here. 
Oh, I thought I saw red eyes in there. I was trying to get down. I did find it strange that I wasn't hearing zombie noises. <clears throat> cool. And we got some more materials now as well. So if somebody does call and they want some materials, we can give it to them because... I don't think... Oh, no, we do still have an empty slot. Oh, we can build our garden. We're not going to have enough resources to do that, though. <gasps> There's no real sheds that are super close by. So I'm going to have to search these houses. Maybe one of these houses will have one. But I'm not sure. They, they at least will have food, which would be good. Oh, boy. That's not good. Yeah, we're getting in the car. We're going. We're leaving. We are leaving. I heard that feral. I don't know if you guys heard it, but, yeah, I definitely heard a feral. That's a screamer right there. We're driving away from that as well. That's real bad over there. We're not going over there. Jesus, man, I'm a big dumb idiot. I have two gardeners now. It wouldn't be so bad if they at least gave, like, a passive bonus for, you know, like, they at least gave you a bonus food. So, like, it wouldn't be the end of the world, but it's like having two gardeners is literally worthless. They don't give you any added benefit. It doesn't boost how much you yield in a garden or anything like that. It's just you, you're just, you're, I'm just an idiot now. Okay. Alright, so we're going to take over Shane, I think. Uh, actually, what was his... I don't know what his hero bonus is, but what is his... So his leadership is a sheriff. I think that's what hers is too, right? No, hers is a builder. And hers, I know, is a trader. Um, I, I want to know what his hero bonus is, so I actually will play as him. I do want to get Beth up to leadership status. But I do want to know what his hero bonus is and see if it's going to be worth... Um, worth grinding with him to get to it he also has a rifle too which is nice doesn't have a silencer though which sucks and i probably have a zero ammo for it next yeah, it takes what yeah five five six i don't have none of that i just got these two so probably just shove that in there for now because it's not well well no i mean even though it only has the one bullet if i run into a feral and i can shoot and aim well and kill it with that one bullet. That'll be worth it to keep somebody alive. What's this max done and out? So maybe Shane will become worth maybe his hero bonus is really good and maybe he becomes worth it. I'm gonna take these with me too just in case I need them. Um snacks that and we're good. He's got a blunt weapon. I'll just I'll run with that for now. That's fine. I don't need to take anything else with me. We're good. Okay. Alright, um, oh, my bad. Was there a better backpack in here? No, okay. I was sitting there thinking, like, I'm trying to look for something and I don't know what it is, and it was a better backpack, which there is not one. So I have to stick with a six slot. Alright, so we're gonna try to avoid that bloater. We're gonna go down to this house right here. I am feeling a little bit more confident, so I am, like, being a little bit more aggressive and running. But again, the game is also still being a little nice right now. Man, I'm out of gas. Zombie right there. But again, especially if the game is being nicer, I am trying to sprint more. To get our... Ooh, it's a bloater right there. He's laying down though, so he's not going to get up unless we get really close to him. Then I think they will get up, but I'm not too worried about him if he's laying down, so that's fine. Shit, probably worth the effort. 20 parts, I'll take that. Parts are going to be super useful too for us repairing our weapons. Jugs of ethanol will be useful later. Search speed is really slow at Wits 1, oh my lord. Again, I'm used to my other communities where I have people with high wit skills and they just breeze through these. 
Um, probably should go home and sell what I just got. Or not sell. I'm implying, but by selling that I'm implying that I'm getting something in return, and I'm not. <laughs> you should go deposit them in the base. Is what I should say. I feel like he runs out of breath really quickly. It's probably just because he. Ooh, that didn't sound good. I heard a growl. That might have just been an ambient noise. I don't know if that was an actual zombie or not. It sounded kind of like a juggernaut, though. If it was, he wasn't responding to me. I'm too far away for him to be responding to me. But I also have, yeah, these Molotovs are going to help be my feral deterrent as well. Because if I do miss with my shot, or if he appears at night, I'm not going to be able to see him until he's really close. And at that point, I might not be able to shoot him. But if I have a Molotov, I can be running and throw it behind me and kill him with that. Because I'm pretty sure ferals die with Molotovs. I know Juggernauts don't. Juggernauts basically ignore... Juggernauts basically ignore fire completely, so they're worthless against them, but I'm pretty sure I can use it against a feral. I'd probably rather throw the Molotov anyway. I think the Molotov will be quieter. There's definitely zombies in the house. I can really hear them grumbling. so creepy. The zombies just seem so much creepier in Nightmare. There's another one in here, I think. Unless that's the one that's outside. Yeah, that's the one that's outside. I'm not too concerned with that one. Shit, nada. Okay, and if that bloater's still sleeping outside... Again, I'm pretty sure they stay asleep unless you get really close to them. So, Which also, really weird, why is a zombie sleeping? These zombies too, like when you walk into the houses, why are they laying on the ground? Why are they sleeping? That doesn't make any sense. So, but one good thing about this survivor too is I, I am going to be doing my best since we're going to be surviving as long as possible. Uh, I'm going to try to do as many achievements as I can as well. And I know that there is one to gain to get maximum morale um, in a dread zone or a nightmare zone. And he, I saw that he had he gets a morale boost for having a projector. So that might be something we do in our base at some point is put a projector up to get the big morale bonus from him. Oh, it's getting brighter outside, so it's about to be daytime. And so I'm pretty sure I'm not 100% sure. I'm pretty sure when it hits daytime is when the day number will change, and then we will officially be on day three, which would be nice. Oh, shit. Well, that happened. Three zombies, though, not too bad. I can take care of three zombies. Oh. Oh, shoot. Ooh, he almost killed me. Well, it didn't kill me, but... So out of breath. I could have taken a snack, but I didn't want to waste the snack. Snacks are very precious right now. I did not want to waste it. Okay, um... So, yeah, deposit that. So we're good on that. Let me actually, I know I do want to build a garden, but I think right now I can, oh, I can't, I need 12 for this too. Because I do want to upgrade that so that we can, uh, we can store more items. Alright, so we're going to go over to this house now. Let me see how close I am to become, it. wow, didn't do anything so much. <laughs> Not really close at all. I just know that the recruit rank goes up pretty quickly. But I don't really know how quickly. Usually in my other games, I'll usually just kill a freak zombie and I'm usually there. But. Not in any position to be trying to kill freak zombies right now. 
Bloaters are usually the easy ones to take out, but right now they're not because I don't have a gun with a silencer on it. Oh. Which normally for me wouldn't really be that big of a deal, but because I'm in Nightmare, makes it a lot worse. He's also standing at a really bad angle. I don't like that angle he's standing at. I guess I'm going to have to go around this way. So I try going and staying along that fence, he's going to see me. That's going to be really bad. That other zombie standing there is making this really... D oh, he sees me! Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Oh, he saw me. Oh, no. Oh, no. Yeah, let's run away from that. Well, he also screamed, so it's actually probably just a good idea if I shoot him anyway. That was my last shot. And I didn't. Oh, my God, I didn't hit him. I didn't even hit him. I might have to run over there and take him out. I'm going to have to. No, you aimed at the wrong zombie! Oh, this is not good. Alright, take him out. And, of course, he didn't take him out! Because I'm surrounded by zombies now. Dude, oh my god! Alright, it's time to use this. And, I don't know why, dude. Holy shit, dude. Why is there another- Oh my god, dude. That was- That was really bad. <laughs> oh my god, man. Hey, right, man, this is- This is nightmare. Things can go from looking good to not- and all it takes is that, like, r bad Molotov throws. And now I have to go exchange him out because now he's not good anymore. Oh, uh, that was stupid. I mean, did he... Uh, no, he did not really increase the standing that much by taking out two Screamers. Or one Screamer. Ugh, that was so dumb. Ugh. We're starting to lose some of that good fortune we were having. Alright, gonna switch to Beth now. Um, the item you get isn't really that great. I was going to do it if it was close, but it is not close at all, so we're not doing that. Alright, thankfully though, too, the game again was a little bit nicer to us, and we really didn't get a lot of zombies rolling in, because that could have gotten a lot worse. That could have been way worse, in terms of the amount of zombies we had. I mean, it was pretty bad anyway, but we had a Molotov, so that's probably why it was a little bit easier. Yeah, that sucks. I didn't think the Screamer could see me, man. That sucked really bad. Ooh. And yeah, they're over here from that noise. Yeah, again, she's got a pistol, but it doesn't have a silencer on it, so... I definitely do not feel comfortable taking them out with a gun. But you see how quickly a fight can go really bad? So right now here at the very beginning is not a good idea to be getting into fights with zombies. Oh, not what I wanted. Here is zombie horde. And they're over there. Where are they going? They're going that way. Okay, they're not coming towards me, which is fine. So, like, that's that's still a decent-sized horde, too. So, the horde size is already getting bigger. Did we move on with our days? Doesn't really say. Has it technically counted as sunrise yet? Oh, jackpot. I don't know, I was too busy getting mauled by a... I was too busy getting mauled by zombies. Is there a back door? I don't feel like slamming that door open right now with a horde over there. Probably search this. They're far enough away. I don't think they'll hear me. Locked up. Well, that was noisy. 
Okay, well, doesn't help that you missed two swings there, Beth. Oh my gosh. Oh. Oh, he wasn't even grumbling at all. Okay. Alright. We're still good. Thankfully, we didn't lose him, so he can recover from the from his injuries. Never thought it happened. There we go. To okay, so it or it did count as our as day three because we were in we were at night. So when it changes to night, I guess a day goes by. I'm pretty sure I haven't really been paying attention from the day night shift where when it tells you what day it is. But usually I think it makes a little noise and the day changes and it didn't do that right there so. Cool. So Beth is almost maxed out on her wits as well, which is good. Hopefully she gets a good skill too. I'll take I'll take stealth or scouting. I'm okay with that. So and I actually did say um, pretty sure I did say in part two that um, I didn't really care for the discipline skill. It didn't really do a lot. Um, which is still true, but one thing I forgot to mention that does make it a little useful is I'm pretty sure it does um, up the durability of your weapons which is good if you're using sword play because your bladed weapons aren't going to have as high durability as your blunt weapons so if you are using sword play it is it, it can be a viable option it can definitely be a viable option if you're using sword play so especially here in like a nightmare zone it might be a good skill to have because you know because of uh because parts are a little bit more scarce and things like that, but I'd probably still rather have scouting or stealth. Just in terms of my playstyle, I, I still try to generally avoid cars anyway. You get to a certain point in the game where you've looted so many, so much stuff that's close to you that you kind of need to take, that you kind of need to take a car everywhere. But I try to avoid taking cars because they make a lot of noise, and I want to max out all my skills. Oh my god, he scared me! I didn't think there was somebody in here. I couldn't see him. Yeah, my, uh, my stupidity is really going to make the series a lot more interesting, too. Because even though I'll get better, I'm still not going to be great. So I could still lose really good survivors and stuff like that. Oh. Once again, trying to grab that zombie, and the game is not allowing me. Excuse, excuse me. Boom. Nice. might be useful. Emphasis on okay. Alright, cool. So, some more food, which is nice. I'll probably keep it stored in the vehicle, though, because I don't... If it has four food in there, then we can hold on to it, but I'm not sure if there will be or not, so I'll probably just store it in the truck for now and put it in there when we need it. Thankfully, food, which is probably going to be one of the biggest issues for us early on because of Regina. So it's good that we can at least do that. I um, don't really have anything I want to get rid of. I can run back over here and get that if I need to. Um, where's the... There it is. Place has been blood dry. Time to move on. And that too. We'll probably come back and get that as well. Oh, seeds. That's what it was. I'm like thinking. I'm like, I couldn't even remember what I was just looking at. Okay. Alright, so that's everything close to home. Um, which is bad because <laughs> that means we have to start venturing out into the world. Okay, so you need to be careful and be wary of hordes, ferals, all that kind of stuff. And especially these assholes right here. There's two of them. One right there, and then one down there. I 
do me a favor too and don't like turn around. Stay where you're at. Ooh, that's a horde over there. <clears throat> that is something not so great is it like you know like in the standard zone I can easily take out a survivor and max out like at least two of, oh I didn't mean to deposit that that's fine there's only three food in there though so that's perfect um, is I can easily take a survivor and max them out and max out at least like two of their skills within the first day um, oh excuse me um, and get them already a hero status and all that stuff it's so much easier there but here it's uh it's really hard because you have to be really careful when you're sprinting you have to be really careful when you're fighting you know what kind of freak zombies you're taking on and stuff like that so but in that one you can just sprint everywhere grab a bunch of resources kill a bunch of zombies max out some skills and easily get your character to hero status pretty quickly than the first little bit of you having them. And even if they do get tired, you can just sub them out for somebody else and then it won't take super long for them to recover from, fati from fatigue and you're good. I also don't know if these go up a lot slower in Nightmare Zone or not. Because it's very possible that that happens as well. And like, once again, I should probably be taking a vehicle over here. But, see, like that. I'm leveling up my cardio. Another another screamer over there. I said in the last part, and I still think that that's true, that the game tries to have a Nightmare Zone a screamer be near you um, pretty often. Um, I think by the time I would get around him, those guys would see me, so I'm just going to avoid that area. Oh, they actually stopped moving. I probably could have gotten over there quickly enough, but it's fine. The screamer's not causing me any problems. I don't need to cause him any problems. Why? Why, why did he turn around? Why did he turn around? So, though, so that's not a big deal. Okay, I think I'm pretty good for the most part. Now, I'm trying to remember, I'm not sure. See, like, there's a screamer right there. Wouldn't have seen him if I'd just run through, and he would have totally seen me and just totally casually snuck up behind me. The other problem is he's once again in a really bad spot. So I need to try to get around him. I'm going to give him a super wide berth this time because I don't want him to see me. And start walking towards me. Because if he starts walking towards me, I'm running away. Because I'm not playing this game with this guy. So take this guy out before he decides to take some weird angle at me. He sees me while I'm trying to get the screamer, and that's the last thing I need. So we're going to go all the way around this house to get to him. I think I can sprint, because I don't think there's anybody else around here. Just make this a little bit quicker. Now what I need you to not do, screamer, is also I don't need you to turn around right now. I need you to continue looking where you're looking. I mean, if he does, I can just run up and kill him real quick, but... Eternal, asshole. I have to just do it quietly like that. Okay, um, so we were going over here. Trying to get more building materials. I want to upgrade my storage, I think, first before I build a garden. Especially because we have food right now. Oh, I, once again. I'm so dumb. I'm so dumb. Because I should be dropping this stuff off at my house, and I'm not doing so beforehand. Yep. 
a room because I am dumb. <laughs> Alright, so. Alright, something I can do though is yeah, I can. I can just make something an outpost. I have 559 influence. I mean, I kind of need to go home anyway because I have a rucksack. I can just come back. I don't really need to stay and make an outpost and stay out here longer than I potentially need to. I thought that. I, I was literally. I stopped because I thought that screamer was moving. Okay, he is moving, but he's not. I thought he was moving towards me. Like I thought, like like he like he saw me. Like he's doing that thing where the screamer is like locking onto you, and he's just walking towards you. And I was like, bro, I was about to get really mad if he was if he was seeing me from that far away. Oh, see, like these are the screamers I don't like because he's just moving around. What I'm actually gonna do though is I'm gonna sprint up to him and take him out because he's not looking here. I can do it before he screams. Yep. Okay. Yep, get rid of him. Is that a moving bloater, or is he... No, he's laying... Okay, I see him now. Yeah, he's laying down. I'm not worried about him. I am worried about this horde, though. Because I am trying to go back to the house, so... Another screamer over there. He definitely does not have his back turned towards me, so. Alright, we're just gonna ignore him for now. Where are they coming? Oh, they're heading right towards me. That's fine, though, because I can just go around them like this. Yeah, the hordes are definitely getting bigger now. Not great. Definitely need to be careful to not attract towards to our house. Okay. Alright. Drop this crap off. Another perfect supply run by me. Five. I think that I think that does it. Yep. Puts us at twelve. We can then boost the amount of supplies we can put into our stuff there. I kinda hate holding on to two things of medicine. Um I would kind of need this in a pinch, so I'm going to hold on to this. I'm actually going to... I'll take those and I'll get rid of this one. Okay. Alright. That way I have more meds on me. Okay. Um. So I did that. I need to go back down. Oh, let me do this first, though. Boom. Alright. Then I can try to find more. Once we get ten more materials, we'll do this. All right. You're looking good today. Anything around here that's gonna have some? These these will. It's more like sheds down over here and stuff too. Um, I think we'll go up here to these ones. Flower nursery. I don't really care. Equipment shed. Alright, we'll go to this equipment shed down here. We're miserable again. Why are we miserable? What's making us mi miserable? No materials, no materials, no materials. No watchtower, many infestations. Meds are low. Oh my lord, man. Guys, we're doing our best here. So I was saying many infestations. Are, oh, oh, okay. I guess there is a lot of infestations. I mean, there's not really anything we can do about it. Like, we don't have any weaponry. 
You guys can be upset about infestations, but... Oh, no. That's a plague horde. That's even worse than a regular horde. So, now, I'm pretty sure... I'm not 100% sure, but I think I'm pretty sure that... Infestations will probably have something to do with how big your horde sizes are, too. So, because there's a lot of horde... Or, a lot of uh, infestations... There's probably going to be a lot of hordes that are big. Can you guys not go in the same direction as me? start sprinting really got to be careful that we don't turn the corner and see a screamer honestly I feel like uh, like the first two parts I've been doing nothing but worrying about screamers and I think I'm honestly uh, doing nothing but worrying about ferals but I think I'm honestly more worried about screamers at this point right now oh my gosh Because I've really been able to avoid the ferals for the most part right now, but the ferals at least will warn you when they're there because they make a, they, you know, they roar. But a screamer, if a screamer sees me, I'm not really going to know until he's right near me because their sound is really quiet. And their sound also sounds similar enough to a regular zombie that I might just think they're a regular zombie and they might, and that they don't see me. So, and they can scream and attract everybody. They can attract ferals, they can attract juggernauts, they can attract regular zombies. They can do all kinds of, ooh. Oh, a toolkit. Oh, yeah, we need that. And another gas can, too, so I don't have to use my fuel for that. Nice. That's nice. Okay. Ish. Come on, I need a thing of materials, please. Nice. Alright, I want to see... These places might... This is a rickety shed. This is the kind of icon where you would find... Materials, but I don't think I'm going to find one in this one. Because it's usually, yeah, like the busted up ones. I'm not sure how often... Or how, um... How often you can find them there. Where's this zombie? Oh... I see a screamer over there right now. Be careful not to piss these guys off and have them make a bunch of noise. Please don't. Okay. Oof. So sometimes, too, the characters will do like a little jump animation off of a rock or something and make a little shockwave noise. <laughs> so I was afraid of that happening right there. And then having that screamer see me. I also saw that zombie just shamble into there. Where I was just at. That would have been really bad if he saw me. And made noise. I also don't like... Shuffling around in these bushes with these zombies. For anybody that likes more fast-paced gameplay, I'm sorry. <laughs> this is uh, this has not been your playthrough thus far. Yeah, facilities are breaking down because I don't have materials. What broke down? The workshop. That's fine. Nothing here. Surprise. Okay. Um. probably go here and claim that as an outpost I have enough to do so right yeah there's another one oh my god man these are really okay no it doesn't look like another one spawned now maybe one of these is new I don't know that's that's a real problem right now man that those are growing 
because I do not have the means to take any of those out right now. Maybe eventually I will have the means to take those out, but at this particular moment in time, I do not. But, I'm also not super concerned about it because, I'm forgetting, I'm not even going to be here very long. Because <laughs> we're going to go to Providence Ridge once that drops in two days. So, we're not even going to be here that much longer. I don't really need to worry too much about the infestations. We've got an issue over here. Can you come help us out? Her name is Alaska. That's cool. At least that's what her nickname is. I don't know if that's what the actual name of the character is. Where are you guys at? You're... Uh, what? Why would I do... You guys... How... What? How are they living with a... How are they living in an infestation? What? Well, now y'all are really out of luck on that one. I'm not helping you out there. That's not happening. Oh, I don't have a thing for parts right now. It's fine. It's only seven, not the end of the world. And so I know when you start a brand new game in Providence Ridge, they start you at the beginning base. I'm not sure, though, however, if when you leave here... When you leave uh, one of these other communities and go there, if they immediately spawn you there. Um, she's still only at citizen. Resourcefulness and discipline. Uh, neither one of these are that good. I'm going to hold off for right now because... Resourcefulness is pretty good because of the bolt recovery, but I don't have a crossbow yet. Um, and it also gives me an extra carrying slot. And I can also, oh, I forgot to, that it also stacks, it basically will take two stacks of three consumables and merge them into one, so, like, with these, how I can only carry a maximum of three and then it does another stack, this will make, this will basically make it to where this stack can be six, and then it'll start a new one, which is good, but I might go discipline if her fighting specialty is bladed weapons. So, I'm going to hold off on that for now, because Wits isn't super hard to level up anyway, especially with me sneak killing zombies most of the time right now, and with how much searching we're doing. I can level that up pretty easily. Enjoy peace eternal, asshole. Because if my fighting is sword play, I might go with discipline just to help out with the uh, with the weapon durability. But if it's blunt weapons or sh or her uh, or her cardio skill becomes powerhouse, then because uh, I also don't know how durable the heavy weapons are, I'm assuming those are probably going to be the most durable weapons. Of course, there's a lot of zombies standing in front of the shed. And of course, there's a screamer over there. Why would there not be? Okay. He wasn't on the ground already. So it's kind of a weird animation, but that's fine. Alright, those dudes are shambling away from the shed. This dude looks like he's the only guy near the shed. Oh, there was a guy right there, but I did not... Okay, well... Alright, I'm gonna run over here because I don't want that bloater to see me. 
I really don't want to have to discharge my gun. They also run pretty fast. Take that, because I... Not in any mood to play games right now with my stamina. Do not scream. Do not yell. <coughs> oh, I'm sorry. Oh, I had to cough right there. Ooh. Why does he... Why, why? Why is he coming over here? Can you not? Can you not? The damn screamer again, dude. It says site secure, but it sounds like there's a lot of zombies around here. At least one. I guess he's probably inside of this thing. Oh, of course. Why are there three zombies over there now? They weren't over there two seconds ago. I know. I hate that angle. Kind of want those dudes to come in here anyway, so I can get rid of them. It's at least a good opportunity to level up fighting a little bit. Well, since I'm going to be fighting like this in smaller sample sizes, um, a fighting gym might be really good in Nightmare Zone. Alright, so we're going to claim this site so we can get a materials collection every day to kind of help us out with this materials problem. Now, does anything cost materials a day? No, nothing costs materials per day. I need you to stay over there, Mr. Bloater, because I don't want to deal with you. It's also good because it also intersects with my uh, with my little safe zone here at the base, so people will hopefully stop spawning here. Even though the Screamer is clearly spawned inside of our white circle. I don't know, maybe this rule just doesn't apply to freak zombies, or like this just outer part of the circle doesn't count. Cause he is like right on the edge right here, as you can kind of see on the map where he where he was. So maybe that circle isn't one hundred percent accurate. But if that's the case, then they need to they need to fix that. <laughs> Damn, like that zombie horde totally just spawned inside of this thing. So I feel like rules don't apply to certain zombies. All right, so, um. I don't really think it matters which truck I use this on. I think they're pretty much the same thing. This one I feel like is a little bit more durable though because of the, the thing at the front. So I'm going to repair the utility truck instead. Regina is no longer frustrated. Well, that's good. I mean, kind of. I don't really care what Regina thinks because Regina is not going to be here very long. But... Okay, alright, so we at least have some materials, um, I guess I should probably, especially since we're gonna have storage number two, or storage level two, um, I should probably be careful with depleting my resources just so that I don't make people more mad than we need to be right now. So, here's the only problem, is that most of the places near here are food, and I don't need food anymore, we're good on food. Um... I could go down here and scout this out. But what I'm probably going to have to do is start taking a vehicle in here and start searching things. Like, I should go into here because I know we're getting low on meds. So, you know. I'm debating whether or not I should do that, though, because I'm, I am running low on time here. Oh, I deposited the the fuel already, or did I put it in here? No, I deposited it. I just heard about a group of survivors that exiled a guy for, now get this, marrying a zombie. Supposedly this happened in Florida, so you know it's gotta be true. 
Of course it happened in Florida. Of course it happened in Florida. Only in Florida would something stupid like that actually happen. I've never heard that bit of dialogue. That's pretty funny. Okay, um... I feel like this part's just maybe a, l a couple minutes too short, but that's okay. Um, do I feel like anything else is going to put us well over where I want us to be? So, I'll just call it an episode here. Um, not too bad. I mean, it sucked that... Yeah, see, like, Shane's fine now. He doesn't have his injuries anymore. But he does... not Okay, so it doesn't look like they... Well, she recovered. She went to full health. Maybe he just recovered from his injuries, so he probably hasn't completely... Um, his health hasn't completely come back yet, but... Um. Ah, sorry. Um, I don't remember what I was saying. Um, but regardless, yeah, I'm just gonna call an episode here. Um, anything else is gonna put us well over where I want to be. So, and I guess I guess we're not too far off because I hit the record button and I probably started a recording actually about maybe two minutes in. So we're about at an hour or so now. So, but um. Plans for part four, I do plan on making a part four before Providence Ridge, so if I do drop two videos a week, um, then you're probably not going to see Providence Ridge gameplay for another maybe two weeks. Um, so we'll see. It depends on what happens, but at least in our next part, we are going to venture over to here and get some more meds. I do, since we're going to move to Providence Ridge immediately, I do want to make sure that we're um, as well on, as we're doing good on supplies um, as much as possible that way we have a pretty decent um, a pretty decent set of supplies before going there that way we can then start to more focus on gaining more influence and survivors so that we can get to the bigger bases and stuff like that um, but not too not too bad um, I I really hope that eventually because she's not even halfway to hero I want to say that I want to get her to hero next episode, but I don't think that's going to happen. Because this is already... Oh, excuse me. Episode 3, and we're only about, what, 25% of the way there? So, but... We'll see. Um, I'm going to leave this episode here. And I'll see you guys in the next one. I'll see you guys in part 4. I don't know how much longer daytime is going to be, actually. I actually didn't really... Uh, we, never, we didn't get to a nighttime. So, but uh, I'll talk to you guys later. I'll see you in the next episode. Peace. Oh, okay. Well, actually, never mind then. I'm going to do this real quick. Because we're about to get attacked by Z's. I just did my outro and everything. Okay. So we'll do this and then we'll get out of here. This will actually put us at about time anyway, so perfect timing on this. This is good. This is a good, easy way for me to level up my fighting skill early on. So yeah, I'm pretty sure we started the episode with a with a zombie siege, and I guess it's only fitting that we end the episode with a zombie siege. Of course, none of them are coming from this side. Oh, there's somebody right there. There we go. Uh, can you not do that? Can you not do that? You die, thank you. Why do they all scream? Oh, wow. Oh, camera angles. Thank you. And we're still here. Cheers to us. All right. There we go. Oh, let me actually too while I'm right here because that got built. Let me start getting that going. Stop. Take 15 minutes. All right. Uh, can I still repair my weapon even though my thing is broken? Nope, I can't because the facility is broken. So that's nice. So I guess then we'll equip that for when we go back out. All right, yep, we're gonna call it a part here. Sorry, I did my outro already, but I was getting attacked by that, um, by that horde.
or uh, for that siege. But yeah, I'll call I'll call this part here, and the next part we'll try to just continue again to upgrade our resources and stuff like that. So I'll see you guys in the next one.